Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. This is Sam Cornwell, the mad inventor that created Solacan. And today we're going to be doing a quick tour of his workshop. He's going to show us how he made a solar, how he makes solar cans, how you make solar cans. I use and Integrate. You use Integrate? Yeah, I use Integrate, but that's fine. I'm not meant to be cutting in. You're not. Hi. Thanks anyway. And we, he's going to answer some of my questions about the trials and tribulations of the solar can. Hi Chris, thanks for visiting. Uh, welcome to the Soda Can Workshop. This is where all the magic happens. In fact, this is where Soda Can started. I did move it back home while I was uh, doing a master's at university. Uh, Soda Can never stopped production, but I just needed somewhere closer to home. Uh, but meanwhile, as we've ramped up and we're building more Soda Cans, we've come back into the Soda Can Workshop. The big window behind you, which you've no doubt noticed, uh, is filled with red opaque or semi-opaque uh, acrylic, which lets you bathe in red sunlight during the day, which is uh, great for creating a safe light for the building a solar can. Building a solar can takes a lot more than you can imagine. It's got about 13 different steps or iterations to the integration of one of these from scratch. It took me about four months to develop the process, and I'm gonna show you through it. First off, we get the raw virgin aluminium can. This is the only time we're gonna to refer to it as a can. After this point, it starts becoming a solar can. We start building onto it, adding labels, adding the lid, putting the stuff inside, etc. The first thing we do is put the label on. This is something I really don't like doing. So much so, my wife does it. And I'm not gonna show you how this machine works because I'm gonna mess it up. Instead, I'm gonna put it on by hand because that's what I had to do for the first 2000 solar cans that we sold. Uh, these are the solar can labels. They come on a massive reel, there's about 500 per reel. The first time I ordered them, they arrived wrong. The white solar can labels arrived. So as you have seen, the ones that we ship and sell are clear, exactly as they're meant to be. But the first ones, there was a miscommunication with the supplier and they sent white ones. I had to pay for them, it wasn't my fault, which means I've still got them. And these ones now become the prototype. So we're gonna make a prototype today. Peel the label off. Make sure the black tab is retained. This is the sort of same process that we go through workshops that we have here in this building. Very carefully lean over the top, make sure it's not wobbling all over the place. This is a lot harder than I'm going to make it look. And put the label on. There we go. So the label's on. Nice. I give a lot of talks about solar can and a lot of people ask me about the inspiration. But towards the end of it, I always find that the feedback is people are really uh, taken by how enthused I am by the soda can community. So I can't do this without the community. I didn't produce uh, dozens of images uh, for people to look at, uh, for examples. It's the community that are producing the images. They're the ones doing the experimentation. They're the ones pushing the product forward and trying new things and introducing it to new people. And I love that. I love the way the community, maybe this is someone from the community. It is, <laughs> it is. But there we go, I'll reply to that later, sorry Luke. It's really mind blowing, really. I had a very successful Kickstarter, but I didn't know if it would continue after that. I didn't know after the first 2000 sold, any more would sell, but it carried on selling. And I've done four times that since. And they've been all over the world. They've been in the Arctic Circle, they've been on the equator, they've been in Australia, all over America, all over Europe, China, etc. And I've seen records broken, whether it's the shortest solar can ever taken, whether it's capturing a picture of a solar eclipse with a solar can, blows my mind, whether it's uh, experimenting and recycling the solar can and reinstalling it and making your own new lids. Uh, showing it's recyclable is fantastic. Which would be my, my, my most incredible? There's usually a few that I talk about. Uh, one, a girl called Lauren Davis, uh, Davies installed a solar can on a boat. So you could see the oscillating waves during the day. So it's on a boat for six months. That is a mind blowing image. A lad called Tom Cross, uh, photographed a Falcon 9 SpaceX rocket 
with a soda can with the sun passing behind the rocket which blew my mind away this was actually a test to see if the uh, the rocket uh, exhaust would be captured by the soda can which it's not because it's not bright enough only the sun is bright enough but that's another thing altogether uh, but really which I mentioned before the the things that have wowed me the most is the is the ones where the eclipse has been captured because you only get one shot at that you've got to be in the right location in the world and you have to you spend days setting up, uh, really know what you're doing, and uh, it's been done twice so far. Next thing we've got to do is put a pinhole there. So a pinhole is essentially the lens of our camera. There's no glass element in that lens, it's just a hole that light can pass through. We use this very nice pillar drill here, and if you can get close enough, there is a 0.4 millimeter tungsten drill bit. In we go. Line it up, on. Make sure you wear safety goggles. And there, we're through. Okay, so where will solar can end up? That's the question. Uh, you've got to think about where it began. So it had really humble beginnings. Uh, uh, solar can was before it was even known as solar can and it was just a, a beer can pinhole camera sort of the workshop version of the camera uh, when it was just uh, gaffer tape and Sainsbury's own beer branded vessels uh, even then I had a roadmap of where I wanted to be I wanted to create the the original solar can that was phase one then phase two would be creating the retail package uh, but we're on a future phase now where we're about to be starting something brand new, which I can tell you about later if you want. Uh, but there is a far future, there is an end goal that I really want to get to, and it's called Solar Can Infinity. But I'm not going to tell you about that. What's next, you say? Next, we put the photographic paper inside. The photographic paper is sensitive to white light, which is why we've got red on the windows, and we've got red lights everywhere. So the next thing we have to do is turn off the light. This is the work that we do under the safe light. So anything that involves the photographic paper, which is sensitive to light and which the sun should be exposing on through the pinhole will be done under this sort of conditions. First off, we remove the photographic paper from the safe bag and we decide what side of it, not the side, we figure out which side of it is photosensitive because we don't want to put it in the wrong way around. I can tell this side is shiny, so this is the side that's got the photographic sensitive emulsion on it. On the rear side or the back side of it, these days, we pop a soda can sticker. Branding everywhere. And inside, we curl up, pop it in, and then check by lining it up with the light again that the pinhole is not obscured by the photographic paper inside. Would you like to have a look? The biggest challenges I've had uh, in the first four months of prototyping the first solar can, I tell people that I put aside five days and £100 to prototype the first one. It took four months and about £5,000 to make the very first solar can. There were so many uh, hurdles to get over, whether it was how I'd be putting on the lid onto the, onto the solar can, or how I'd be applying the labels, or the design, or whether it would work or not, or how big the pinhole is going to be. There are all these different things. But after manufacturing had started and I'd got over all these things, there are several problems that appeared uh, during the time of shipping out and uh, speaking to the community. One that sticks in mind uh, is uh, the, the air pressure problem. And I could not work this out because it, it caused so many other problems. Sometimes when a solar can would arrive abroad, it would be crushed. And people would say, this has been damaged during shipping. It's been chucked about or something. And it just happened in a way that didn't make sense. The packaging was intact, it looked smart, but the solar can was crushed. So how could that happen? And what was happening if it goes in a certain area of the aircraft when it gets shipped abroad, the air pressure changes and it crushes because there's no outlet for that air to breathe in and out. The pinhole is closed up with the black tab. 
So we've had to make adjustments to the soda can, especially ones that get shipped abroad to stop this sort of thing happening. That was a huge challenge. It took over a year to figure out what was going wrong. Uh, but we got there in the end and now we've got a product that we can safely say ships across the world and will still work across the world. The next little trick that the soda can has is a clip to hold the photographic paper inside. I use these from my engineering days when I used to build computers. We used to use these to hold down cables inside computer cases. But what we use them for now is to hold down photographic paper inside a soda can. And what we do now is bend these down and they hold the photographic paper in place. Oh, you want to know about solar can colours. Uh, it's been something that's been on the burner for about 18 months now. Uh, we chatted about it first time about six months ago. The idea, which you'll see in the eventual Kickstarter video, is I want to take the original solar can classic, the idea of what solar can classic is, and, and turbocharge it turn it into something else, that product that produces different results. Through experimentation, trial and error, speaking to the community, I found three out of dozens of different types of photographic paper uh, to install inside the soda cans, hand installed, uh, that produce resoundingly different results. And we've given them all names, and I'm not sure if I should mention them now, but uh, the soda can colors, which is the, the three pack, it's a pack of three, uh, which is separate from the Soda Can Classic, which is the original. The Soda Can Colors names are El Dorado, Atlantis, and Nebula. Quite fun, I think. I'd like the Kickstarter to be launched on the third birthday of Soda Can. So that's on the third year that Soda Can became, you know, a product that it was fully funded. The next bit, without question, on all the different workshops that are held across the country, schools, here, everywhere else, is putting the lid on. I've got hundreds of thousands of these lids. They pop on, but they won't stay on like that. So we use this very special machine, which I bought off a survival expert a few years ago, to seal it on. It crimps it on twice, and then we turn this round, There we go. And now you'll see the lid is on and it won't come off. It's sealed shut. For me, uh, where we get to and what soda can is now. So at first you could argue that it was, a, it was an idea behind marketing to pr prove myself that it can work uh, and something to occupy my interests and a product that really wasn't available to people if they didn't have the darkroom experience or skills or products. Uh, what I've since found uh, from speaking to the community and people who've used and taken down soda can and had a result is that there's an immeasurable, immeasurable amount of well-being that's involved with soda can. And I believe that understanding the way the world works helps you feel happier about yourself and happier about the world. When you take down a soda can, uh, the things you learn is you learn how optics work. You learn how the sun moves through the sky. You can read that image back and sort of see the houses that are in the image or where the sun was or uh, the garden path that's leading away inside the image. And for me, it's that realization that someone suddenly understands that soda can is something they can build themselves, gives them a sense of well-being and sends them off on a brand new path of creation themselves. And uh, for me, that's what soda can is about now. Next, we've just got a few more stickers to put on in the retail packaging. So can you turn the lights back on, please? Thank you. Do you remember the black tab that we saved earlier? Well, we take this black tab off now. We make some little delicate folds on it and we place it back there over where the pinhole is. So now it's entirely light safe. Additionally, if this is a retail package soda can, we put a serial number on the bottom so we could keep track of how many soda cans we've made and who bought what when. Soda can is the simplest camera in the world. I defy anyone to create a simple camera. One that's more simple than that. So yes, the fundamentals of photography. 
uh, it might take a long time to realize an exposure for a solar can. Optimum time is six months. It could be just a day. Uh, but what it takes away in the fact that it is a, an entry level or an entry into film photography rather than digital photography is it takes away so many of the complications. Uh, children these days uh, coming of age, getting their own cameras, they have no idea how these cameras work. They've got uh, chips inside, they've got boards inside, they've got lenses, maybe dozens of lenses in some cases with the new phones. And it, they're just, they might as well be magic. So when I'm teaching photography, I usually start with maybe a large format camera or something like a soda can because it really strips away all of those uh, complications and turns it into the very fundamentals of what a camera is. Light sensitive paper inside a box where light can create an image. And that's what soda can is. So yes, in answer to the question, do you think a soda can teaches the fundamentals of photography? Absolutely. That is pretty much what it's designed for. It's the, it's the gateway drug to film photography. It's the gateway drug to being a photographer and doing something creative with your life. The remaining thing is retail packing your soda can. Tiny little piece of bubble wrap. I'm trying to find an alternative for this, but haven't found it quite yet. And your handy soda can instruction manual. Every six months when a sol solstice happens, either in the winter or summer, we replace this and update it with new community images. These are great examples that you can have when you're looking for your solar can. Another job that I can't do because I'm incapable and my wife does is put the cable ties in the top of the lids here. So we're not going to embarrass myself and do that here. And you can see inside there are two 550 millimeter cable ties. God knows how she gets them in there. I have to find the color of the lid that matches the tube. So there we go. This is what we call the orange packaging. And this is quite a trick. We wrap the bubble wrap. We wrap the manual. We pop it in the lid and then it goes in here. There you go. And that is one complete retail package soda can with a la white label on the inside, but we won't talk about that. It's yours. Sam has generously donated a solar can to the YouTube channel and I'm going to be giving this away to one of you lucky subscribers. All you need to do to be in with a chance of winning this is naming the new three solar can colours in the comment section below and I will be drawing the winner next Friday. Thank you very much for showing us rain, Sam. It's That's okay. Pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, if you're not part of the community, come and join in. Solar can are really cheap, so... Why not? <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss another episode. Don't forget to check out the Solar Can website and pledge to the new Solar Can colors on Kickstarter. <laughs> there go all my drill bits. <laughs> <laughs>